Well, ladies and gentlemen, good day to you, wherever you are, and you're watching this program. My name is Apostle Larry Doc. You know, today, uh, I'm so delighted to be your host on Majesty Christian TV Network and for Rivers of Light Bible Church. I would like to welcome you to this program. Uh, today, being Mother's Day, we would like to honor mothers, and therefore, I'm, I'm, I'm honoring the mother who is next to me, who happens to be my wife. Apostle Helen Ruth Dorkino. And so now uh, I will take the stage to ask her some questions. <laughs> Shall we pray? Yes, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name we bless and magnify you. Thank you for a day like this yes, when all mothers are receiving the honor due them. Yes. Thank you for, for making us all uh, products of good mothers. Yes, Lord. We worship and we honor you. Bless this broadcast, yes. touch lives deeply. By your spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 So welcome once again. If you want to reach us, you will see the contact information on the screen. Mm -hmm. And please feel free to contact us at any time. And we welcome you also, of course, to join us at Rivers of Life. We're looking for people like you who will be a part of us to help us build the work of the Lord. Now, let me open our discussion this uh, hour with uh, a scripture from Proverbs chapter 31. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 31 from verse 10. It says, um, A wife of noble character who can find, she is worth much more than rubies. Mm -hmm. Her husband has full confidence in her mm -hmm. and lacks nothing of value. Mm -hmm. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. Mm -hmm. Now, there are many other things which follow. I'm not going to go into all that. Mm -hmm. But today, looking at uh, Mother's Day and celebrating Mother's Day, it is worth looking at really what makes uh, a mother that deserves to be honored. Now, this scripture, of course, is talking about a wife. Now, uh, so the question, I would like to welcome you, first of all, uh, Pastor Helen Roo, yes. and congratulations on this Mother's Day Thank you, to Pastor. you and all blessed women out there. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now, today is Mother's Day. Yeah. So, uh, how do you feel being a mother? Well, I feel delighted, I feel uh, highly honored, and uh, I feel being respected. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a special day because, uh, you know, God uh, is not incomplete in whatever he does. Yeah. So God expects that uh, the father and the mother is being given honor. So he made it as a law that uh, mothers and fathers have to be honored. Mm -hmm. So to be, to be honored means... Uh, to put a weight, you know, in yeah. the Hebrew word is kabo, which is to put a weight, mm -hmm. or to 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 be blessed, yeah. you know, to uh, to add value. Yeah. Uh -huh. So today, mothers are being remembered all over the world, mm -hmm. and that means value is being added unto them. Wow. Yes. Wow. So they are being appreciated. Their worth is kind of being magnified or being. Uh, given, it's getting focused yes, exactly. at this particular time. Yes. Now, not, I think we all were born by women. Mm -hmm. So that is mothers for that matter. Yes. So, so our mothers deserve to be honored at this time. But um, I was just wondering, is it really every woman who deserves to be honored at a, at a time like this? I know it's a very, maybe, critical question, yeah. you might say. But must all women, do all women deserve the, uh, such an honor on uh, Mother's Day? Well, uh, I believe that the scripture you read yeah. made it very, very clear that uh, uh, this virtuous woman uh, is a very uh, good mother because she she makes the family happy and then she 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 makes the heart of her husband uh, you know, you know relax mm -hmm. you know she brings joy to the, the family. Yeah. The Bible says she will not do him evil yeah. but good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and she seeked. She seeked um, uh, wool, flax, and uh, walked willingly with her hands. So mm -hmm. we are talking about a mother yes. that is very, very uh, hardworking, a mother that is joyful, a mother that brings life. Mm -hmm. You see? So, you see, the, 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 the meaning of Eve, which um, uh, Adam uh, called uh, the, the woman that was brought to, to, to him, in the book of Genesis chapter 3, yeah. uh -huh. Adam called him, in Genesis chapter 2, Adam called her woman. Mm -hmm. when, she opened, when he opened his eyes and saw that uh, somebody was staring at him, mm -hmm. and God has 
made a woman and presented the woman to Adam. Mm -hmm. Adam opened the eyes and saw that this was very beautiful and it was just like him. Mm -hmm. Adam said, this is bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. This must be called woman, means a man with a womb. Mm -hmm. So in chapter 3, yeah. Adam now called that Eve, uh, called, called her Eve, Eve, which means mother of uh, living. Mm -hmm. So uh, if, you, if you read the Proverbs chapter 31, you see that what the Bible described about that woman is a woman that brings life. Mm. It's a woman that is lively. Yeah. It's a woman that is that is joyful, mm. hardworking, mm. merciful, yeah. graceful. So, uh, if we look at all of those qualities, we cannot really say every woman is graceful. Mm. We can't really say every woman is cheerful. We can't really say every woman is really a mother. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I I just have to stop here for okay. now. Okay. That's it. That was about to ask you a question. <laughs> Can we consider every woman a mother? Obviously not. Well, for the fact that they have given birth, they could be called mothers, yeah. but then are they good mothers? Because we have good mothers and we also have mothers who have not really excelled. Okay, we, we will get into that uh, as we proceed. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a, a presentation uh, by Rivers of Life Bible Church, a church where we change lives by prayer and the word of God. Exactly. And today being Mother's Day, we are honoring mothers, and especially the one next to me here. Uh, she is a mother of the living, the mother of multitude of nations, <laughs> yes. and a mother to many. Uh, and so I'm so delighted to be sitting next to such a gracious woman. Thank you. Uh, and uh, we know for a fact that God has used her life, and is still using her life to touch many others. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a good role model, a good mother, I, really, I truly recommend this one for you. Thank you. So don't hesitate uh, to give her a call yes. and, uh, and, and connect with her. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, today be Mother's Day, we are looking at the virtues of, a, of womanhood, of, of motherhood, yes. for that matter. Yeah. Yes. Uh, now, uh, in order to uh, put everybody in the, in the context, mm -hmm. uh, when we talk about a mother, uh, are we only referring to those who per se have given birth from their own womb, or are we also including other uh, mother figures yes. who may not have biologically given birth, given birth but do play uh, a motherly role uh, in the life of other people? Yes, I believe that is what we are honoring today. When we talk about giving honor to a mother, yeah. uh, it's not only just the biological mother, mm. but it also talks about those who are uh, 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 playing a motherly role mm in the lives of the society, yeah. individuals, or people, okay? So there are people who may not have given birth biologically, yeah. but they are doing outstanding work in the society. They are influencing people positively. They are mentoring other people, younger folks, yeah. and they are, you know, bringing life into the society, yeah. into the community. So these are the sort of mothers that okay. must be honored today. Wow. wow. Yes. So those who are uh, exemplary motherly figures in exactly. society, yes. these are the ones who uh, we are honoring. Yes. Those who are outstanding in their conduct, in their lifestyle, yes. these are the people we are honoring today. Exactly. So I, I do, I mean, that said, I think also there are some women, even though they have biologically given children, mm. they have not raised their children well, yes. and thereby their children have become a nuisance in a many society. Yes, exactly. Uh, and so these are issues that we, I mean, we should be all, be, we all should be concerned about. Yes. Uh, and so we cannot say they really are exemplary no, mothers. No, 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 they are not. Uh, however, uh, but because of the gospel, uh, can we say people like that have hope of ever, you know, getting to become the kind of mothers uh, that is expected of them? Well, if they will change, uh -huh. If they, will, if, they, if they will allow the, 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 the word of God to influence their life, yeah. I mean, the gospel have given us uh, the opportunity to come to Christ, yeah. and then even if we, are, uh, we have an old nature that is not good, the old nature can be made, you know, yeah. taken away, and then by Christ Jesus, we receive a new nature, and we receive a new behavior, a new attitude, receive a new name. Yeah. So there were some mothers who have not really excelled, yeah. and because of that, their children are embittered against them. Some of them, their children are, 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 are feeling uh, a little bit um, rejected in the society because of the, of the issues surrounding their mothers. Mm -hmm. You see, motherhood is something that must not be taken lightly. Motherhood is, is something that involves you 
raising a next generation. Yeah. So it's not something that is being done carelessly. Yeah. So, but permit me to say, mm -hmm. our society today is full of uh, baby mamas, people who enter into motherhood without preparation. So motherhood is something you must consciously enter with preparation. So when you enter with preparation, you will raise godly children. Okay, so you're saying that uh, people need to be mentored into the role of motherhood. Yes, because according to the Bible, there are responsibilities meant for a mother to perform. And when a mother refuses to perform those responsibilities, then we wouldn't call such a mother a mother, a good mother. Because the absence of those resp responsibilities will bring a chaos in a home wow. and then it, will, it, will, it will result to a damage to the society. Because wow. the kids who are raised from such homes, they will, they will never be loyal to the society. Mm -hmm. They will be very chaotic, mm -hmm. very rebellious. They will be like children who are um, not, uh, I mean, people who are jobless, mm -hmm. who are not ready to do anything good. All of this is because of the upbringing of the child. Because from a psychological point of view, the character of a child is formed from zero age to four. Mm -hmm. So any anything that a child has learned from that zero age to four impacts or go or cast a shadow in the life of this child to, throughout the whole time of his life. Except Jesus comes That's into right. into the life of the person. So you're saying that uh, with somebody per adventure has had a very mild a functioning uh, or not properly formed lifestyle mm -hmm. uh, for whatever reason, whether the mother or even the child, yeah. they have a possibility to be reformed, yes. to be redone yes. in Jesus. Yes, exactly. Because okay. it gives us a second chance. Wow. The gospel wow. gives us a second chance, wow. you know, to come back to Christ. Wow. So that is so. Jesus is a restorer. Amen. Okay, so He rebuilds the broken, the broken, broken th life. th lives and the broken things. Yes, yes. So when your life has been broken, mesmerized mm -hmm. uh, and and disappointed by the virtue of the things that have happened yes. in your process of walking in life, mm -hmm. you have the opportunity to return back to Christ, okay. and then your life will be rebuilt. Wow. You see, I see. Men, women who have made mistake in the past, yeah. and then when they came into uh, uh, their, their when, they, when they came into times with the word of God, mm -hmm. their lives have been transformed, changed, wow. and then that which begins in their life as well begins to affect their own children, either negatively or positively. So when they repent as well, you see, there's also uh, the change in the life of their children. Wow. So it becomes very important that mothers mind what they do. Wow. Because whatever they do affect their children. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I would like us to go now into some of the virtues or the characteristics which we can see in the life of a, 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 an ideal mother or a woman of virtue, a mother of virtue for that matter. Okay. What are some of the things we can look out for and, 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 and pick out in the life of somebody or a mother that's worthy of revelation, that's, that's deserving of, of honor? First and foremost, I have to say that a mother produces children. Mm -hmm. So when you produce, when you make ch uh, a child, yeah. the Bible expects that you guide that child, mm -hmm. you lead that child, you 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 form, you you have to form the character of that child. Yeah. Okay. So a good mother shapes the character of a child. A good mother doesn't just give birth and abandon the child to a nanny. A good mother takes up responsibility of raising the child, putting the first alphabet in the world of the of the child, making sure that this child is being fed at the right time. Yeah. This child goes to bed at the right time. Mm -hmm. This child grows to know the norms and the ethics of the society. Yeah. This child grows to have respect mm -hmm. for the community and for those in his or her life. Right. It is the duty of the, of the mother. mother. A good mother is a homemaker, mm -hmm. not a homebreaker. Mm -hmm. Today we have people who live, who are, who only live in houses, but they don't have home. Mm -hmm. So when, I, when we talk about home. home, we are talking about a place that you are secured. Mm -hmm. Yes, a house is just a building, but a home is a place you come in, you receive peace, you receive warmth, mm -hmm. you receive joy, wow. you receive food. Mm -hmm. A home, mm -hmm. a home makes food. 
A home is not like uh, um, McDonald's. A home makes that. So I'm saying that mothers, uh, mothers, a good mother make a home. Wow. wow. So that means she provides food. She cleanses the house. She takes care of the children. She washes their clothes. She makes sure that the children are comfortable. She takes the children to school. She examines what they, when they come back, she examines what they have done in school before the father comes in. Wow. Wow. What an awesome role. I, I, I can't imagine myself a good being mom, able to do all those things. Right. As a, a, good <laughs> mother, a good mother protects the children, the children from harm. Wow. You see? So you guide them on what they're supposed to do and what they're supposed not to do. A good mother prepares the meal at home. She doesn't sit and cross her fingers and manicures them and only wait for McDonald's and Kentucky. No. But may I ask you an honest question? Ask me then. <laughs> because I wonder how a woman is able to do many things at the same time. Multifunctional. Yeah, but how is that possible? You know, from a practical point of view, how, how are you able to combine your faculties, so you use your faculties to coordinate everything. That's the way God made us. He made us to be multifunctional. Wow. You see, he made us. So from the time you have the baby in your tummy, the baby is there growing, and then and then you don't just keep your hands folded. You are also busy. The baby may be moving, disturbing you, but you have a house to clean. You also have a, a food to make for the family. You also need the laundries to make. So even though those things are happening inside you, you are still doing one thing or the other. Okay, somebody is also calling you on the telephone. You are receiving the call at the same time. You are also cooking or you are you are doing one thing or the other. So that is the way we are made. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that is the way. That's the way we are made. That's why you will see a mother feeding a child. At the other hand, she is also busy with her telephone or she is doing something else. So we are multifunctional. Functional. Wow. Yeah. So we are talking, ladies and gentlemen, about uh, uh, the ideal mother or on this Mother's Day, just especially looking at and focusing on uh, why mothers deserve to be honored. To be celebrated. Yes. And, and some of the virtues we have talked, seen uh, mothers produce, uh, mothers make babies, mm -hmm. they take care of the home, they nurture the babies, they are the initial, the first teachers of the child, really. They teach the child the first few words yes. before the child goes to school. And it's awesome. Uh, and they take care of the home, they make, you know, they really make a house to become a home. A mother prepares a child to be a man, prepares a child to be, be, a, child to be a lady. Yeah. It's a mother that teaches you yeah. that you are a man, this is the way a man must behave. Wow. You are a lady, this is the way, you see, they, they are, their jobs are so amazing. Mm -hmm. Mothers are, are so sweet, you know. They are very it's sweet. Very exceptional. Everybody loves them. Mom. Very, very Mommy. exceptional. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's no doubt mothers are a, a real gift to humanity. Yeah. And um, for that reason, uh, we have every excuse and every cause to celebrate mothers today. But also fathers, anyway. Because yes. the Bible says we must honor the father and the mother. But today, uh -huh. the focus is on the mother. <laughs> yes, the time of true. the is coming. Yes. I mean, uh, one person, one personality in my life that I, I never cease to celebrate and to honor is my mother. Mm -hmm. and my father did his own, but my mother, especially because. I see a lot of the things she put on me still valid and applicable today hmm. and which really, really have made me who I am today. And uh, I think I was showing you a few days ago how uh, my younger sister decided to create a, a WhatsApp platform yes. for all, all, all my siblings but also for all the children hmm. that are the family, that is her grandchildren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so amazing to mm -hmm. see all that come alive all of a sudden. Yes. There's somebody who maybe has been dead and gone for a couple of years now, yeah. almost 20 years. And, uh, and yeah, suddenly, so people are beginning to remember something about her. They said, awesome. let's honor this great woman. Yeah. Let's celebrate such a great woman mm -hmm. who who was so hardworking, busy, yeah. could take care of other people Amen. apart from their own children. Yes. And they were saying all these things. And I just I just couldn't but agree with all that you're saying. Yeah. See, so a mother's hmm. role or influence in a, a person's life can never be forgotten. No, 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 no. It no. lingers forever, as I, it were. It's so powerful, and wow. you know, a mother shapes the destiny of a child. Of a child. I mean, if you if you go through the Bible, you will see mm -hmm. examples of good mothers. Mm -hmm. Look at uh, Hannah mm -hmm. with her earnest prayer and devotion. Yeah. 
Samuel came into being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when it was time for the dedication of Samuel, mm -hmm. this mother made sure that she gave Samuel a befitting dedication. Mm -hmm. She didn't just appear before Eli with uh, those small, small gifts. Mm -hmm. The Bible recorded yeah. that she brought, you know, the, the very big, fat, fat uh, 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 animals for sacrifice yeah. for the dedication of the baby Samuel because she was speaking already to the future of what Samuel. She was already seeing the greatness in Samuel. Mm -hmm. we, we, we also saw another great mother like Jochebed. Jochebed in the book of Exodus chapter 1, the mother of Moses. Mm -hmm. The Bible said Moses was born at such a time when uh, 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 the pharaoh of Egypt was killing babies. the babies. Mm -hmm. But this mother took risk. She refused to produce her child for killing. So you are saying that the mother instincts or the maternal instincts of a, a mother yes. can move the woman to take any kind of risk for Very, the sake of the child. Yes. And they also shape the destiny of the child. Okay? So the job refused to kill her child or to, pro or to, or to bring her child to hand over to the Egyptian uh, 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 or Egyptian um, persecuted, but she hid her child. Uh, so at the end, we saw that this child that was hidden became the deliverer wow. of the people of Israel. Do you understand? Absolutely. Uh, so, so, so there are so many mothers like that who have excelled. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they, they refused circumstances to hinder them. They still went ahead because they saw something bigger than now. They saw greatness. So they began to tell that child to walk into that greatness. Look at uh, Rebecca. Re Re Rebecca gave birth to Esau and Jacob. Mm -hmm. But Rebecca knew what God told her when she was pregnant. Yeah. So she, by, by virtue of what she felt, mm -hmm. she had to position Jacob, uh, Jacob mm -hmm. into receiving the blessing. So you're saying that Do you understand? women have such an influence. Mothers, we are talking about mothers, not women. Mothers. mothers have the power to push you into your destiny. destiny. Look at in the book of Matthew, chapter 20, from 20 to 23, you will see another faithful mother there. Oh, the, uh, the, the, the wife, the, the mother of the Zebedees. Yeah. The, so, so you are saying to any woman watching us that they have a responsibility to push their children into their destiny. Exactly. Into doing good things. Yes. And not into criminal activities. No, no, no. And not also into and, and What about those women, unfortunately, yeah. who, when their children go and do evil, they cover it, they pamper it. And as long as the children are not caught or they don't get in trouble, it's, it's party time. Yes. But uh, until something goes wrong and then the child or the children get in trouble, then the shame comes. Yes. Is that a good way to remodel a child? No, that's not a good way because somehow along the line, Apostle, mm -hmm. it, will, it will boomerang on them. Because when they cover that evil yeah. and they don't expose it, mm -hmm. somehow they will be trapped in that evil. Because something bad will happen to that child when they never expect it. Please permit me to finish with the mother of the Zebedees. Okay, you ahead. see, the mother of the Zebedees, I love that woman so much in the book of Matthew chapter 20, yeah. how a woman can purpose in her heart, mm -hmm. brought her two children mm -hmm. to Jesus Christ, no, no, came to Jesus Christ, because she must have heard the message of the Lord Jesus yeah. that he is of a, a kingdom. He's bringing his own kingdom yeah. where peace, unity, and the love will reign. Yeah. So this woman was expecting that, ah, she's getting older. If she doesn't <laughs> run now to solicit for her children, yeah. they may not get the position in the kingdom of Jesus. Jesus. So she went ahead. The Bible says she came dancing and dancing and dancing, worshiping the Lord, worshiping the Lord. And then she asked Jesus for, uh, uh, for, for, for you know, um, a favor. Yeah. Say, so please, I will deserve that my sons, my two children, won't sit at the right and won't sit at the left of your kingdom to reign together with you. What a woman that deserves promotion. <laughs> what a woman that deserves. Because she knew that the children may not have the, the boldness to ask Jesus for such a thing. So she went ahead. Mm. You see, so what I'm trying to say is that a good mother makes way for. The children, yeah. a good mother uses her instinct and her influence mm -hmm. to make a way mm -hmm. for her children, okay? okay? Yeah. To, to desire. There are so many, like in the society we are in, yeah. sometimes children are taken to school yeah. and then they quickly stigmatize those kids. They quickly make them look as if they cannot perform. Mm -hmm. 
If you are a mother listening to me, don't take the report of this people. Don't take it. Don't take it. Continue to, you know, guide your child, help your child, do the homework, do the necessary things that are needed, and do not take that evil report that your child cannot perform. Because if you see that and begin to educate that child, you will see that that child will surely, surely excel. Don't take the report of another person. Because there are some people who are well qualified in speaking evil in the life of other people's children. Yeah. So when you are a good mother and your child comes back with those, those kind of remarks and whatever, make time to go to the school. Go and question. Go and question your t the teacher. Go and talk to them. Tell them to give your child a little chance. You know, because uh, in, in some few months, you're going to work on the child and the child will come back. Don't just take that evil report. Okay. Do you understand? By so doing, you help this child to shape his or her destiny. Mm -hmm. But if you take every evil report, then your child will end up becoming a dummy as they are already tagging that child. Wow, wow. And they don't accept what you don't like, uh, you, you don't think it's helpful. Now, I'm just wondering, there are some young ladies out there, or there are some women out there who yes. are saying, huh, this thing they're talking about, ideal woman or, or virtuous woman, yeah. it's far within my reach, far, far, far from my reach, and uh, how can I ever be that sort of a woman? You think it's possible for every woman to become the virtuous woman, an honorable and exemplary woman, that we all crave to have. It is possible, it's possible? Apostle, because How? the Bible tells us with God all oh, things are possible. possible. It doesn't matter where life has relegated you to. It doesn't matter the mistakes of the past. If only you can come to back to your senses to realize that it took it took God to make you, and then He has provided the ultimate sacrifice, which is Christ Jesus. When you come through that door, through Christ Jesus, and you begin to tell the Lord to forgive you of your mistakes and of your follies, yeah. He will forgive you and He will make you a brand new person. Wow. So, when you begin to pray and you begin to study the word, you will see that there's a sort, a sort of reshaping that will begin to take place yeah. inwardly. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, it begins to manifest physically. Wow. Apostle, I would like us to understand here that the society of today is breeding mothers who are almost irresponsible, mm -hmm. mothers who are too careless, wow. you see, and mothers, I may tag, who are a bit wicked. Wicked? Right. Yes, 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 yes. Because not every mother is totally good, yeah. and not every mother is responsible. Mm -hmm. So that's why we, the, the, the society we are in today is like, helping to bring a chaotic society, yeah. All right? Because when a child comes from a home that is sound, this child will grow having respect for the norms and ethics okay. of the society. Can we, look, some women yeah. may say it is not of their own making mm -hmm. that they make children and as a result of after having had the child, were not able to groom that child to become responsible. Yes. Maybe they had some issues, health issues, mm -hmm. or they have some family or personal issues, and whatever the case may have been, mm -hmm. and that may have hindered them from fulfilling their role perfectly mm -hmm. to raise the children the way they should have. Yes, it's true. Now, uh, I don't think we want to actually put blame on anybody for that no. matter. But we are only trying to speak a word of encouragement to any mother out there. Uh, don't feel like a loser. Don't feel like you have blown it. Don't feel like uh, you've missed opportunity and that it's over for you. You can't do anything again. Yeah. Uh, uh, it is possible in the Lord Jesus Christ to have a second chance mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. to be the mother you want to be. But at the same time, I feel there are some... Uh, okay, let, let's take it to a step. There are those who uh, couldn't... Uh, mother, their children, they would like to. So on a day like this, when people, other mothers are receiving honor, then they feel like, oh, <laughs> they didn't do enough. So, I mean, for them, mothers, it doesn't matter. Oh. What would you like to say to such women? Well, I just, I would like to um, first help them, jack them up so that they don't remain in that uh, dampened uh, situation. Yeah. Uh, let them know that um, hope is on the way. Uh, you know, if only they can, uh, you know, repent. I mean, change in their ways. I believe that God will give them a second chance. In other words, you're saying they should not put 
guilt and bitterness on themselves. Yes. They should be able to forgive themselves. Yes. And uh, let the past be the past. They should, they should be able to forgive themselves. Yeah. And at the same time, they should also ask their children for forgiveness. Because, you know, some of them may have treated the because of the pain in their heart. Mm. They have used that pain, passed it over to the kids, mm. maltreated the kids, yeah. you know, not taking care of these kids, you know, always reminding those kids that uh, your father was like this, your father was this. So the pain they had towards their father, they used that pain to raise these kids. So every little mistake that that child is making, they attribute it to the father of the child. So mothers like this, I call them careless mothers, mm. because they do not know the power in the words that they are speaking. Yeah. Because the words that they are speaking, they are life. So the words, the words they speak can mar or make a child. Mm. So some of them are regretting today, looking at their children not being exactly what they had expected. Mm. So sometimes they see the handwriting of their, their ex in the life of their children and they curse the children the more wow. because of the words they themselves have been speaking. So even if situations didn't work out fine between you and your ex, you don't need to carry it on Take to the children. The you don't need to carry it because the words that you speak into their life yeah. will hinder them a lot mm. or it will make them. Yeah. So careless mothers speak anyhow. Mm. They speak anyhow in the lives of the children. They hate and they, they hate and they curse the, 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 the fathers of their children mm -hmm. in their presence. They curse the, ki the kids and they also curse their fathers. So the more you are filled of pain and bitterness and you feel with cursing and cursing, then nothing good will come your way. Wow. So these are mothers, I say, I call careless mothers. Because with their own mouth, Apostle, they are their own children. Their own children. And so many children have been embittered and damaged based on what their parents or their mothers yes. were speaking. Okay. An example is in the book of um, Second Chronicles, First Chronicles chapter nine, four, chapter four, four from verse nine, yeah. where, where, where the mother of uh, Jabesh, yes. yeah. can you imagine, decided to call him Jabesh, means uh, sorrow, pain. Mm -hmm. How can a mother carry a child for how many months and then suffer the labor? Uh, or you know the, the, the process of betting yeah. and then you when the child eventually came out alive mm. instead of you to rejoice you say you should be called sorrow mm -hmm. eh? you should be called you and know, that I, mad yeah yeah he yeah. this young man yeah, yeah. for a long time you know i'm not a, a, a mother so I, I wouldn't be able to say yeah what it feels like but i can imagine for that woman to call he, her own son sorrow, sorrow. Hey. I know it's a heavy it's, thing, it is so. but you know, uh, yeah, let's, let's give her the benefit of the doubt that, you know, somehow she was overwhelmed, overwhelmed, terribly overwhelmed. Hmm. She lost control of herself. You know, some people like women who give birth and then they enter the depression, mm -hmm. they're not able to take care of the children, or whatever happened and which may have almost have damaged their lives. So sometimes really, when people have gone through very, very difficult, I mean women, my mothers have gone through very difficult situations. Mm. Sometimes they just have they say what they're not supposed to say. Exactly. So by this point, we are saying that they can forgive themselves and make it well mm -hmm. with God and with their children. Exactly. And receive healing. Exactly. Okay. Yes. And receive the honor which is supposed to come to them. Exactly. Eh? Because you see, you see, when you go about speaking evil over your children, then you will never reap honor. Yes, you because, only rip because whatever you are speaking, even though they have grown, yeah. those words are following them. Yeah. But you, 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 you may have the opportunity today to say, okay, in this Mother's Day of, of 2017, I don't want to keep calling my children names. Let me just call them good names. You know, let me let me even pick up my phone and call them wherever they are. Say, I made a mistake. I have not been happy with you, but today I want to bless you. I want to bless you. You see, if any mother would do that, yeah. I believe that God will honor that mother. Absolutely. And the children also, they are waiting. They will receive that forgiveness. And they will also release their mothers. And then the best will come in. What is the essence of holding pain and bitterness all the days of your life? No. When a little no forgiveness will earn you the respect that you want. And, and this is the ability to do this kind of a thing. It's what 
the grace of God can give to you. Exactly. It's only when you are in the law that you have the ability to let go. To forgive it's true. yourself to forgive other people. Without that, you can't. Yeah. You, you, you will struggle within yourself, fighting. You want to revenge. Yeah. And it would only end up damaging you all the more. Yes. Let me touch this as well. Mm -hmm. You see, the, the, the scripture you read in the book of uh, so Proverbs 31 yeah. spoke about a woman that is very industrious, very hardworking. Mm. Permit me to say yeah. that there are modern women today who are very, very lazy. They are very modern, modern mothers. Very, very lazy. They are not ready to go and walk. Mm, wow. They are not ready to cook. A mother cooks, a mother makes home. But these are the ones who do not cook. They only believe in going to buy junk food oh. for their children. Little wonder that we have so many children who are overweight mm. because mothers are not ready to do their works. Mm. They are not ready to be responsible. Mm. So they stay and be hooked up with what the social media waste all their time in Facebook, in, 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 in uh, WhatsApp. And by the time they know, the children are back from school, so there's no food. So they will not begin to rush them to uh, 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 the, the uh, uh, potato and mayonnaise and uh, you know, sack to go and buy them potato and mayonnaise and, and all of those things. And these kids start eating junk food and before you know it, they begin to have sicknesses they never prayed for. Okay? So these are mothers who are careless. Mm. Mothers who are so lazy, they will not work, they will not keep the house clean, mm. they will not take care of the kids. When it is time to go to school, to go and pick up their kids, they are sleeping. Mm. And then you go up and see some kids who are go walking, go to school and see what's happening. You see some, some, kids, some kids who are just only looking through the windows to see whether their mothers have come. Their mothers are busy sleeping. Whether their mothers have come to pick them. Wow. Do you understand? Wow. So these kids end up Save extra hours with the teachers. Mm. And let me tell you what, the teachers themselves are not easy. When the child is ex extended the, the, the hour, the child is supposed to say, the teachers can be very mean. Mm. They can be very, very mean, okay? Wow. So all of the snob and all of those, the, the, the kids begin to Thank grab you. them because of a mother that is very, very lazy. So as you hear the sound of my voice today, mm. it is my desire that you should, you know, take up the responsibility. Mm. And be a good mother to your children. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you have fallen. God can give you a second chance. Mm -hmm. And you are able to make it like the other good mothers who have excelled. You are able. Because if God gave you those children, you are able to nurse them and bring out the best out of them. So that when the honor comes to those who have excelled, it will also come to you. Mm -hmm. I would like you to take one more point, one more question, and then we can run up the discussion because of time. Yes. Uh, there are some young women mm -hmm. who I believe are hoping one day that they also will be appreciated and will be honored. Yes. Uh, but for some reason, maybe they may not have experienced the, the upbringing of a, a mother mm -hmm. uh, that you know, is exemplary and, and virtuous and honorable. Mm -hmm they see in themselves that they lack certain qualities to make them to become the kind of mother that they, they love to see or to see another woman. Yes. Now, granted that they didn't have that sort of upbringing, are they permitted to look up to, let's say, a mother a figure mother. Yes. in society without dispersing their own? Can they look up to somebody as where they can get some of the things that they lack in their lives? Yes. To build up and to boost their, you know, their personality and their image and what have you, so they can be an ideal mother too. I think it's very, 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 very easy to do mm -hmm. uh, to, to somebody who have a very open heart, mm -hmm. you know, to look into the society and take a role model, take somebody, a mother that have excelled or a mother that is excelling, and then you wish this one would have been your mother, but unfortunately she's not. But for the fact that you are in a society where that person is existing, is already a plus. So what do you do? You make every contact to get in touch with that person. Tell your mother about it. I love this, uh, this, this, this mom. Mom, please, I would like to get close to this person. Yeah. I'm, I will not go, I'm not going to despise you, but yeah. I want to get some virtue. Yeah. You see, some of the good, good virtue you will get can even impact your mom as well. So I think it is very, very easy, okay. depending on how you handle it. 
So it's very, very easy to get somebody who is influential, somebody who is who has a good character, who is a role model, and then you begin to you know sit at the feet of that person to learn and also have a teachable heart. Because before those people get to that level, they have gone through a lot of processes. So they will want to impact that on those who have teachable hearts. Because if you do not have a teachable heart, I always tell people, you can't be a good mother when you have not been a good daughter. You must Absolutely. first be a good daughter. Then you will now become a good mother. And then that is a time honor can come to you. So if you do not have that teachable spirit, spirit, you will not. An example is between uh, Nomi and Ruth. Mm -hmm. You see how Nomi uh, 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 Ruth waited patiently on Naomi to impact virtue on her. Mm -hmm. And that virtue brought her to a place of honor. Wow. Wow. Right. Wow. Look at another one. Is even, even a male figure in the life of uh, Esther. The, uh, Esther was an orphan. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, but the uncle brought her up, mm -hmm. and she 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 relied upon the instructions of her uncle. Mm -hmm. Never messed up herself. She 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 maintained to everything her uncle told her, mm -hmm. and eventually she was led into the palace. Wow. Wow. Do you understand? So so you must be ready to have a teachable heart. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, we have so many uh, uh, young, 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 younger women who want to become like this and become like this, but they don't have a teachable heart. Okay. So they go about having so many mothers. You know, today they call you ma, but tomorrow you are no more ma. They, they get another one. They get another one. They get another one. No, no, no. You are not honest to yourself. Just that, get. Try to plug. Uh, exactly, and, and it doesn't. No, 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 no. You have to develop it. You have to develop it, okay. and you have to sit under somebody. Who is strict okay. to pull out the virtue, that good virtue, out of you? Amen. Thank you so much. We ran out of time, unfortunately. I want to thank you for this uh, wonderful exposition. I want to say a very big congratulation to every mom that is okay. excelling. Okay. And I want you to know that we cherish and we honor you. And I love you too. And if you are also a young woman, mm -hmm. you lack a role model. Yeah. Please, my telephone number is open. You can contact me, and I will direct you on what next you can do. Yes. So I, I look forward to every woman enjoying this day. Yes. Thank you, Apostle. You're welcome. Thank you to viewers for watching. Uh, if this video is coming to you uh, just after the Mother's Day or the same, it's still Mother's Day. Yeah. You still deserve the honor that is going to you. And for you younger women who are looking forward to, to be role model, to be helped, to become the ideal or the virtuous woman is not too late. Mm -hmm. Just look for a good role model and just tag yourself along and you'll be fine. God bless you richly and thank you for watching this program until we see you again next time.